In Season 5, Episode 3 of Rick and Morty, we see Rick and Summer visit multiple apocalypses, one of which involves a star going supernova. Rick, whilst drunk might I add, flies them away from the star faster than the supernova travels, but just how fast would that be? When a star goes supernova, it jettisons matter into space at speeds in excess of 15,000 km per second, roughly 5% of the speed of light. To get to this speed, Rick would have to give the car a kinetic energy in the hundreds of quadrillions of joules, or enough energy for over half a day of the entire world's needs. But even if they could outfly the shockwave, about 99% of the energy from the supernova is transferred by neutrinos. Neutrinos are a type of subatomic particle that travel at speeds indistinguishable from the speed of light. Basically, they're impossible to outrun. On top of that, neutrinos are pretty much impossible to shield from. You could have made his car out of lead, neutrinos would still penetrate it. You could even hide behind a neutron star, and more than half of the neutrinos would still get through. So yeah, you can't outrun a supernova.